One man unknowingly started an energy race when he held his cigarette over a hole he was drilling for water in Mali, Africa, and fire erupted from it. Trapped underneath the surface was pure hydrogen gas, something scientists thought wasn't possible because it would escape into the atmosphere or be eaten by microbes. The man was burnt but survived, and it took weeks to snuff out the flames and cap the hole. In 2012, this energy source was then tapped to create emissions-free electricity. The U.S. Geology Survey recently revealed in December that there's five and a half trillion tons of hydrogen gas trapped underground, which is so many orders of magnitude, more than anyone would have thought a decade ago. And this means a new drilling gold rush that should save emissions instead of creating them. Hydrogen gas is the most dense fuel by weight, which is why it's used to power rocket engines and create metals, and it's also useful in creating fertilizers for our food. Until now, it's mostly been created by separating water into hydrogen and oxygen using electrolysis by passing a ton of electricity through it. And depending on exactly the fuel source for that electricity, you get the hydrogen rainbow from green to gray. But there is significant energy loss in converting that electricity to hydrogen. So what if we could just pull it out of the earth the way that we do with natural gas, except now it doesn't create anything but water when it's burned. Most of that five and a half trillion tons of hydrogen won't be able to be accessed, but even just a small percentage of it would fulfill all of our hydrogen demand for decades. Now, the tricky part is just figuring out how to efficiently transport it, because while it's incredibly energy dense by weight, it's a gas unless you cool it to negative 252, which means it requires a ton of pressure and it's not very dense by volume. 